Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Tuesday, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday B-release security update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2, which was KB5041585. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, just to let you know, that there are numerous reports during the rounds that the update is causing issues and is slowing down systems after the update has been installed and for some users um, the update itself is also failing to install now over on reddit um, there are numerous um, there is a thread with numerous comments that uh, it's causing num numerous problems and some of the main problems as mentioned that the system is slow and laggy after the update has been applied. Uh, for some, it can take about 20 minutes or so just to shut down the actual PC, failing to install as mentioned and causing a 100% CPU usage. Now, um, these are comments on a quite a major thread over on Reddit um, regarding these issues. And at this stage, Microsoft hasn't confirmed um, any new issues with this update for both versions of Windows 11. So this is not officially confirmed by Microsoft, but um, we certainly hope that Microsoft does respond because, as mentioned, there are quite a few reports during the rounds that this update is causing issues. Now, thankfully, for me, the update um, installed properly and I haven't had any major issues after uh, installing the update. So um, not aware how many um, users are actually affected with this issue. And uh, um, if you have installed the update, and are experiencing issues, then what I would suggest um, is uh, just scroll right down to the bottom of the um, update history page, click on uninstall updates, and then head over to the update and uninstall it. But then just make sure when you are finished uninstalling the update um, and that you come back to this page and you pause the update, um, I would say at least for the next three weeks or so until the next update rolls out or even two weeks i think we should get our next update in the next two weeks or so which would be the optional bug fix c release update and hopefully by that stage microsoft would have sorted out a problem but as mentioned um that's a couple of things you can do and if you haven't installed the update already um which i think for most um it would most probably have installed already because it the update was a compulsory mandatory update but for whatever reason, if it hasn't installed, what I would suggest is also just pause it again until the next update, until hopefully Microsoft um, confirms the issue and rolls out a fix sooner than later. So just putting it out there, um, because obviously um, uh, this was quite a major update when it comes to um, you know little tweaks and adjustments and security improvements that it did bring. So just putting it out there and uh, um, let me know in the comments if if you are affected or not It'd be interesting to see if this is a widespread problem or just confined to a limited subset of users so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one